Good evening, welcome to sports.com. This is Greg Dorman and this is another edition of Rally Notes. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure how to begin this show tonight. Um, last weekend, uh, last Saturday, we lost our friend and uh, fellow competitor during uh, the third round of Rally America Championship Olympus Rally, uh, Matthew Noble Marker. Um, I knew Matthew, or Matt Matthew, not too long ago, it was at Snowdrift Rally where we really, um, you know, started like talking because he was starting right next to uh, myself and Evan um, on the second day of the uh, event in Michigan at Snowdrift, uh, where he finished, I believe, seventh overall and fourth in open class, which he just moved to it uh, this year. He was doing better and better and he was planning on running the full entire championship this year. Unfortunately, uh, his uh, career ended at Rally Olympus um, last weekend. With me on the phone from Oregon uh, is Jake Glattner, who was at the event at Olympus last weekend. And uh, we'll bring him all right over um, in a few seconds after we take a short break. Um, to get him on the phone. Welcome to sports. My name is Greg Dorman and this is Rally Notes. Racing fans, don't forget that on Thursdays at 7 p.m. it's time for Rally Notes. Greg Dorman, rally racing co-driver from Klein Racing, hosts guests and takes your calls about the entire automotive industry, rally racing, and auto racing in general. Rally racing is a great sport. They have Subarus and all sorts of off-road, all-wheel drive vehicles that run through the mud and the backlogging roads. But he's not only talking rally, he'll talk all sorts of racing and automobiles as well. We'll test cars, we'll drive cars, and we'll have a lot of fun. Rally Dose, 7 p.m. on Thursday. Don't miss it. Live on sports.com. I'm Peter Schwartz, and we're joined by one of the current. If you want everything sports, you got to tune in to Schwartz on Sports. Tuesday nights at 8 p.m., Peter Schwartz, the esteemed broadcaster, takes on everything sports. He's got everything from high end pro sports like the NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball to alternative sports like extreme games, lacrosse, tennis, golf and everything in between. Joined by Minnesota Vikings Hall of Famer John Randall. Last year, you were inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and that is the, the biggest honor that a player uh, can get uh, bestowed on him. What was that feeling like when you were enshrined in that camp? Uh, it was unbelievable. You gotta check out Schwartz on Sports because there's nothing you know that he doesn't. He knows everything sports. So check it out, 8 p.m. on sports.com, Tuesdays. I'm Justin Tucker, the New York Giants, and you're watching Sports.com. If you want everything sports, you got to go to Sports.com. That's spelled S-P-O-R-T-C-E.com. We're going to take you behind the scenes in the world of sports and a lot more. It's sport content and entertainment. we got a lot of great stuff, technology segments. Now it's got the front and back facing cameras. So you can do video chats like this one via Skype on the 3G network, and you can do FaceTime, only available on the Wi-Fi. It's got a lot of other great features. You can edit on it with iMovie. You can make songs and voiceovers. Behind the scenes. Doing we back, sports.com, at this secret location, behind the scenes. Jim Jones. We'll take you into the lives of athletes, follow them off the field, but it's also music. Be right here, but it's perfect day and other genres as well. Check us out, sports.com, and we've got live shows five days a week. A lot of live shows with live guests in our New York City studios. We've got Rally Notes at 7 p.m. on Thursday nights, The Warning Track, 6 p.m. on Friday nights. Schwartz on Sports with esteemed broadcaster Peter Schwartz 
8 p.m. on Tuesday nights. And on Wednesdays, it's the Music Movement with Daryl Reed. Check us out, sports.com. Welcome back to Rally Notes. Um, with me on the phone, just like I mentioned before the break, is Jake Blattner, who was at Ocean Shores, Washington last weekend, uh, racing with Dylan Van Way at Team 600. Jake, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just driving along in my think equipped Fiesta, going to get a new hood for the rally car. Awesome. Good to hear you guys are getting ready for Oregon Trial next weekend. Um, Let's talk about Matt and uh, how did you meet him? How did you know Matt? Well, I met him through, uh, through Rally. Uh, me and Barrett Dash from uh, All Wheels Driven um, were driving out to our first snow drift event. And uh, Barrett had been talking to Matt quite a bit about, about his car and what he was, you know, just doing to it. He was a rally enthusiast, as uh, we all know, and uh, we came out early because we had a lot of work to do on the on the car, and uh, family welcomed us, and his dad opened up his firehouse for us, and we took two days and finished off the car, and then ended up staying at the same hotel with him that year, and uh, just had a great time yeah, driving let's... around on the lake and, you know, just rallying. Yeah, let's let's not forget. You know, Matt built his rally car from the beginning to the end. Uh, he converted his 06 uh, WRX into uh, uh, well, it was 02 WRX into 06 STI this season, and he was he was getting better and better this year, and he, he was he was definitely progressing. Um, you know, what was uh, what was your conversations with him on uh, on Friday and, and Saturday before the race? Um, well, you know, we were just, just super excited to to be there and, and rally him. You know, he was always, you know, just, uh, you know, extremely pumped up to, to be rallying, very excited about his car, um, as excited about working on his car and making it the best he could as he was driving. And, uh, you know, he just would always give me a call and keep in touch with me. Across his, uh, on his journey out west, he was uh, just super stoked to be doing doing the events out here finally and uh yeah um i got a whole bunch of stuff sent to my room for him um stickers and stuff from you know evan fine and equity racing evan was uh starting to help out a little bit with some entry fees because he couldn't make it out west and uh you know we just handed him handed off all his stickers and all his stuff and you know the his license plate was sent to my room for his trip back Across the states, he was playing leapfrog. His license plate kept kept missing him at all the stops he stopped. And uh, you know, I mean, the last conversation we had was he was just you know making sure I was okay because we had a DNF with an axle failure. You know, he kept walking back and forth. He's like, "Is everything all right?" You know, he could tell I was a little frustrated with being out of the race. But you know, he's like, "Yeah, everything's all right." And you know, I just had to go get him. You know, so that was kind of the my last conversation with him was the first first service or no it was second service on uh day one there and uh, i ended up driving driving home to get some axle parts for my house that i had um from dylan's focus so he could continue the next day and uh on my way back up i got a phone call from ken ankel who was working service for us and he uh broke the bad news to me so you know i had a little uh little time and a drive the way up kind of take you in the whole situation yeah do you uh does did, did matt say anything about the roads uh, i mean there was his first trip out west to uh to compete at olympus rally and then he was planning to do oregon did he say anything about the roads did he really like it was he like really excited about driving on those roads i'm sorry greg i'm uh, not hearing you too well there can you repeat that was was Matt really excited, or was he talking a lot about the roads at, on the West Coast, about you know the roads at the Olympus Rally, uh, you know after the recce? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, he was just so excited to be traveling and just uh, you know seeing the West Coast. Um, we've been talking about it for years, 
and uh, he was going to swing by and check my place out. And uh, he was just excited for Oregon Trail, and you know, just he uh, had friends in Montana that he went and saw, and was just you know excited to to do the tour. Yeah, it's it's great. You know, I've been on the West Coast myself uh, doing uh, doing rallies, and those those two events, Olympus Rally and Oregon Trail, are truly amazing. And you know, it's just uh, it's just too bad that you know Matt is is not going to get to to see Oregon. But I'm really glad that he he really um, re, you know got out west, and you really saw Olympus, and he really uh, did what he was uh, what he was loving. Thank you for joining me, Jake. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are uh, getting the fiesta ready for uh, our Oregon trial. And uh, I will see you in uh, just about a week. Yeah, sir. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Jake. Um, we're gonna, after a break, we're going to bring uh, Evan Klein, my driver from Klein Racing uh, Sports, Xeti uh, Rally Team. Uh, Evan is going to talk a little bit about his uh, conversation with Matt on Friday. And the whole pre-Olympus uh, conversations with Matt, I mean, we had really some great times uh, racing uh, with uh, Matt at uh, Oregon, I mean, 100 Acre Wood Rally in Missouri and uh, Snowdrift before. Uh, there was some funny situations, uh, some jokes that Matt was doing to us, but, uh, you know, it was all great, great times with Matt. And we're going to talk about this right after this break. Welcome to sports. My name is Greg Dorman and this is Rally Notes. Racing fans, don't forget that on Thursdays at 7 p.m., it's time for Rally Notes. Greg Dorman, Rally Racing co-driver from Klein Racing, hosts guests and takes your calls about the entire automotive industry, rally racing, and auto racing in general. Rally racing is a great sport. They have Subarus and all sorts of off-road, all-wheel drive vehicles that run through the mud and the backlogging roads. But he's not only talking rally, he'll talk all sorts of racing and automobiles as well. We'll test cars, we'll drive cars, and we'll have a lot of fun. Rally Dose, 7 p.m. on Thursday. Don't miss it. Welcome back. Uh, with me on the phone, just like I mentioned before the break, Evan Klein with Klein Racing Sport, uh, Exeti Rally Team. Evan, uh, why don't you tell us a story at, uh, from Missouri where we were, Matt was driving behind us uh, on the last transit to the finish at the rally. Uh, Matt was absolutely hilarious at that rally. Um, from him, I, I don't even know how he wasn't rearranging us on transits. It was absolutely hilarious how he was passing us. And uh, the best moment of it all was when he passed us, went ahead, and there was a low water bridge crossing, and they had blocked the road off previous to that because of the flooding. And after he crossed the, the low water bridge, he went out and set up uh, the roadblock signs in front of us. So we had to get out and remove the roadblock signs so we could continue on with our final transit to the, the MTC. And uh, I remember the whole time just cracking up, and he was just such a character. Uh, yeah, I can't even explain it. He was just, you know, it's, it's a tragic loss for the community because he was just so funny with everything that he did. Um, yeah, I remember uh, getting out of the car, uh, you know, at, at the finish of the stage and, and, and getting the helmets off and everything. And then you'll see this Subaru driving on the road with these glow uh, neons under the car and then Matt passing us and just beeping the horn and then the blockage on the road. And then we'd meet him again at the transit and just, you know, we couldn't stop laughing. I just remember that story really well of Matt just being hilarious and, and, and having a great time at rallies. Uh, I know that you spoke to him uh, Friday night, I believe, right before the rally. Uh, what was the conversation about? Um, yeah, I spoke with him uh, right after he got done doing recce uh, for Olympus. And, uh, you know, as, uh, as I told you, um, you know, we helped him out for, um, you know, 
uh, actually helped him with, uh, you know, getting him out west and so forth. And, and you know, he just he was super stoked and was, uh, you know, thanking me. And he was just so happy and just, you know, the usual energetic Matt. And, uh, you know, it was, you know, I wished him good luck and everything. And, and that was... Uh, that was it but we just kind of had a funny conversation uh you know yeah you know, i told him to go tear it up out there and uh get a get a top 10 finish and uh do us well so um you know unfortunately um you know it's not how it turned out but uh you know i just uh his enthusiasm when you talk to him was just always i'd always put a smile on your face no matter what um, even I remember at Snowdrift when he came running over uh, before the last leg of the rally, as he had gotten so many flat tires at Snowdrift, and, he was, and we let him borrow uh, one of our uh, ice tires, and uh, he was just so happy about that too. And you know, he was trying to buy us pitchers of beer after and everything. And yeah, it was just funny because he was just like jump up and down like any tires any tires <laughs> you know it's so funny it's, i don't know if you yeah. remember but he was he was barely talking because he was he was she was so like sick he, he it was his throat was hurting and he was barely talking at snowdrift rally and his still his enthusiasm was just enormous yeah it just it, it didn't matter for him at all as long as he was rallying he had a smile on his face so and uh i know all about being sick at snowdrift of uh I've done that a few years now, and uh, you know Matt was uh, a perfect case of <laughs> same reason. Just uh, the all nighters before the event, and they uh, they wear down the immune system. But you know once the once the the rally smiles happen, the adrenaline takes over. It doesn't matter, and uh, he was in that that same spirit. Well, absolutely, I have to agree. You know, it is his spirit, and and you know he was absolutely doing what he loved. So. You know, it, it's just, you know, amazing that he, he, his spirit was always there with him, no matter how he was feeling or, or what was going around him. He was, you know, he, like you said, you know, came at, he came in, I believe it was two flats that he came in with uh, to the last service at Snowdrift. And he was just, you know, yeah. oh, I, I just get, I need to get, need to get the tires out. I need to get out there and, and I need to finish this rally. And he finished really, really well too. Yeah, no, he finished really well. And that was what was great, too, because uh, you know, when we had uh, that flat at, at 100 Acre, um, you know, immediately he, he said, you know, I'm behind you, so, you know, if you get another flat, I know you don't have a spare. Just get out and jump in front of the car, and they'll rip it out of there for you, and uh, you can continue on. So, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, he was always willing to help, and, and that's... Uh, you know, that's a, a true sportsman rallyist right there. It was just, you know, it was really good to have somebody like that in the community. Um, you know, not every racer is, is willing to, to lend out parts and help in that way, um, which is, a, you know, a shame. But, uh, you know, at the, at the end, it's not, uh, you know, not always is keeping the car together to win a rally. There's a lot behind it. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's a it's a tough sport as uh, as we're seeing, um, you know, with uh, everything that's happened with us this year, as well as many other teams. So, yeah, I have to agree. Maybe it's an idea for Rally America to uh, you know actually uh, uh, make a fair play award of the rally and you know make it in, in Matt's name. You know, that would be actually a, a good good you know a really cool thing. Uh, Evan, thank you for yeah, coming they, on the show. They definitely need an uh, enthusiasm award yeah. uh, in Matt's name. It would be a, a really good thing, you know, enthusiasm or sportsmanship award. It's really something that they should consider because that's, you know, really how he was. So. Yeah. Thank you for but, coming uh, on the show. I'd like and, to thank you for having yeah. me on, Greg. Yeah. Um, once again, and I will talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. After the break, uh, we're going to talk to Matt's friend that was close to him this year, working on his car, servicing at a couple of rallies. I spoke to Sam at uh, 100 Acre Wood. We had a good conversation when he came up to me 
at um, uh, Park Exposé during the, the second day of the rally. And, uh, you know, we're just talking about Matt, how Matt was doing and, and how uh, me and Evan were doing on the rally. And, um, Matt, you know, Sam was really, really close friend to, um, to Matt. We're going to bring him on right after the break. I'm Justin Tucker, the New York Giants, and you're watching Sports.com. If you want everything sports, you got to go to Sports.com. That's spelled S-P-O-R-T-C-E.com. We're going to take you behind the scenes in the world of sports and a lot more. It's sport content and entertainment. we got a lot of great stuff, technology segments. Now it's got the front and back facing cameras. So you can do video chats like this one. Skype on the 3G network, and you can do FaceTime, only available on the Wi-Fi. It's got a lot of other great features. You can edit on it with iMovie. You can make songs and voiceovers behind the scenes. Doing we back sports.com at this secret location behind the scenes. Jim Jones. We'll take you into the lives of athletes, follow them off the field, but it's also music. Be right here, but it's perfect day and other genres as well. Check us out, sports.com, and we've got live shows five days a week. A lot of live shows with live guests in our New York City studios. We've got Rally Notes at 7 p.m. on Thursday nights. The Warning Track, 6 p.m. on Friday nights. Schwartz on Sports with esteemed broadcaster Peter Schwartz, 8 p.m. on Tuesday nights. And on Wednesdays, it's the Music Movement with Daryl Reed. Check us out, sports.com. Welcome back to Rally Notes. Uh, with me on the phone, uh, Matt Marcus, friend, Sam uh, Catlick. Uh, Sam, how are, you, how are you doing? How did you, uh, you meet Matt and how did you started rallying with him uh, hi greg uh well for me um and matt's relationship started in 2009 up to then i was a really big rally enthusiast but uh always wanted to do more and drive and um i had a privilege of staying in the same hotel that matt stayed in and um in 2009 when him and chris drove uh the red 94 subaru and uh, they were just kind of hanging out there, and I believe Jake Blattner and um, uh, Mark Fox were there also. And I just kind of walked up and said hi to Chris and Matt, and they started talking to me, and um, we kind of followed them through the rally. And uh, on a Saturday evening after they were done with a, the with a race, uh, they came back to the hotel, and Matt had his car parked there, and I had one of my friends with me that's never been in a, a round rally or in a rally car. So I asked Matt, I said, would you mind if I have my friend sit in your car so I can take a picture? He said, dude, I got a better one than that. I got keys in it. Why don't you take it across the street to the parking lot and do a couple of donuts with it? So uh, my buddy jumped in a car, and uh, he drove it up there, and me and Matt, as we were walking up, Matt was yelling and smiling at me, going, he's not pushing gas enough. I can't hear my car well enough. So he did a couple of little donuts, nothing big, and came back. And I said, thank you very much, sir, for that. He goes, well, we're not done yet. You need to sit in that car and take it for a spin. And that's where our relationship started. I mean, how many people you have out there that will just kind of put in their rally car and go, hey, take it for a spin. That's who Matt was. So that's how we started, and uh, from that point on, I think uh, last year, beginning of last year, I bought a car and uh, planned to build a rally car with it and had some questions. So I kind of found Matt on Facebook and um, asked him, you know, I need some questions answered. Would you help me? And within half an hour, he said, here's my phone number. Call me whenever. And, again, that was Matt. He just was there to offer help and, and be who he is. Um, so I called him and told him, I got this kind of car, this is what I need. He was, again, dude, I got the same kind of car sitting in my garage that I'm tearing apart. Why don't you come up and pull the parts, whatever you need, off of it? And I drove up to his house, and um, he said, there's the car. This is what you want to do. i got to run some errands, and I'll be right back. And 
he left me alone in his garage with his cars and stuff and everything there and I started tearing stuff apart and uh, pulling the wiring harness and everything out of it so that's how our relationship started yeah now once again you know just like Evan was saying uh, Matt would just uh, share the parts and, and, and would help anyone that was involved in Raleigh. It was, it was just amazing uh, how, you know, how he got into it. You know, he started, I believe, Raleigh in 2007 when he built the first, uh, uh, first Subaru. And um, it, was just, it just took off from there, I guess. Uh, I know I met you and I spoke to you at uh, 100 Acre Wood Raleigh on the Park Exposé uh, during yeah. the second day. Uh, you were working on Matt's car there and, and have, helping him in the service area? Correct, yes. And I was just laughing when I was listening to uh, Evan talk about uh, the cone and putting the across the roads because when you all guys came back into, into Park Exposé, you were all laughing so hard about that. And again, you both said it perfectly. That's who Matt was. But um, yeah, we um, went down there. Um, and um, just uh, really had a great time. Matt had a wonderful time out there. This was first time for him on gravel with an open class vehicle. And um, he did really, really well. Uh, we as a crew were happier because uh, he had a uh, little bit less misfortune with tires at 100 acre than he did at Snowdrift because like you guys said, we were scrambling for some tires asking everybody if we can borrow them by the end of day two at Snowdrift. And at 100 Acre Wood, he basically came back without a scratch on a car, without a flat, without anything, and just loved it. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was really funny. I'm telling you, it's 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 been great racing uh, right next to Matt basically for the last two events, because uh, you know, like uh, once we um, took our entry out of uh, Olympus, you know, my, Matt kind of stepped into that uh, tenth spot on the road, and you know, he. He really deserved it because he really had speed this year, and and it was just going great for him, um, you know. And and you know, it's it's a part of a motorsport, and you know, it's a dangerous sport. So, um, you know, it's 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 it is how it is, and uh, we're gonna we're definitely miss him. We're definitely gonna miss uh, his spirit, uh, and uh, you know, I hope he rallies on wherever he is right now. Absolutely, absolutely, Greg. I am sure of that, that he is smiling down on us and just going, rally on, dudes. I, I have to agree on that. Thank you for coming on, Sam. And, uh, you know, I just uh, hope to you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much, Greg. After another break, uh, we're going to wrap up the show with uh, talking to uh, Kali uh, Vasquez, uh, Matt's sister. Um, she has a special message for the whole rally community, not only in the U.S., but in the entire world, because uh, she heard from everybody basically involved with rally. Uh, let's take a break and we'll come back in soon. Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the Warning Track. I'm Matt Mankiewicz. Uh, if you could change one thing about the game today, what would it be? Baseball fans, don't forget to check out the Warning Track Friday nights at 6 p.m. with Brett Quintine and Matt Mankiewicz. They'll take you through the MLB season talk, everything baseball. Have great guests and field your calls. It's 6 p.m. on Friday nights. Don't miss it. The Warning Track. It's out of here. I'm Justin Tucker, the New York Giants, and you're watching Sports.com. If you want everything sports, you got to go to Sports.com. That's spelled S-P-O-R-T-C-E.com. We're going to take you behind the scenes in the world of sports and a lot more. It's sport content and entertainment. we got a lot of great stuff, technology segments. Now it's got the front and back facing cameras. So you can do video chats like this one via Skype on the 3G network, and you can do FaceTime, only available on the Wi-Fi. It's got a lot of other great features. You can edit on it with iMovie. You can make songs and voiceovers behind the scenes. Doing we back, sports.com, at this secret location behind the scenes. Jim Jones. We'll take you into the lives of athletes, follow them off the field, but it's also music. Be right here, but it's perfect day. 
and other genres as well. Check us out, sports.com, and we've got live shows five days a week. A lot of live shows with live guests in our New York City studios. We've got Rally Notes at 7 p.m. on Thursday nights. The Warning Track, 6 p.m. on Friday nights. Schwartz on Sports with esteemed broadcaster Peter Schwartz, 8 p.m. on Tuesday nights. And on Wednesdays, it's the Music Movement with Daryl Reed. Check us out, sports.com. Welcome back to Rally Notes. Um, we spoke to Matt Marker's friends, rally competitors, uh, his service crew now on the phone with us is Matt's sister, Kali Vasquez. How are you, Kali? As good as can be expected. Uh, fabulous with everybody's support. It's, it's good to have you on, and I really appreciate you know, taking time to talk to us. Uh, I know you have a message for the whole rally community, I believe. Uh, the whole rally community, everybody, um, just thank you for all of your support. It's crazy insane how many people my brother has touched. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not only been in the U.S., I've heard. It's, it's been all over. Uh, I believe you got some emails from Scotland uh, with, with rally from community. Scotland. Down there. Is, is that is that correct? I'm sorry, I missed it. I, I said you. I believe you got some emails from Scotland with Rally community yes. getting involved. All right. Yes. And um, well, it's it, it's it's just uh, talk about us. Talk to us about you know how Matt was besides Rally. I know he how uh, how he was uh, during the events and, and around the events and in the Rally car. But how was he you know when he was off between the events? Um, he was just, he was a huge family man. Um, family and rally was his life. Uh, my great grandma Nana was one of I would almost say his heroes. He loved her to death. Just as long as he's around family and friends and having fun, he was very supportive of any decision anybody made. He was always there if he wasn't in his car somewhere else, but he was there <laughs> on the phone at least. Um, he was just an amazing person. I don't. I don't even know where to begin or anything. I'm sure there's uh, a lot of amazing stories throughout the years. Uh, was, would there be a one that yet uh, it's just stuck in your mind for the last couple of days with Matt? Um, not necessarily, because I just close. All I can see is him. Just his love for outdoors. I mean, a couple, like last month we were sitting down at Tobago with his girlfriend, and they were brought hobos down and cut up all the food with plastic knives, even though we had real knives. Um, just anything, pick me up, go for a crazy cruise. Just, I, I don't even know. There's tons of stories and I can't even think of just one. I know that uh, Matt had a favorite song, uh, Pennywise. Um, why don't you tell us a story about that song? Um, I don't know the, something, Tim, I don't even know the name of it. Uh, it's just all growing up, we had our uncle's property we'd party on since I was like 15. And the song came on, and no matter where we were, the kid would just start banging his head, and dreads would just start flying everywhere, dancing up, whether it was on a rooftop of a car. We can hear the song now in the background. I was just jamming it, that's it. It's, it's Pennywise brown him tribute uh, you know, yeah, song. Uh, on replay in my car. It's just it's just sad school Matt really was, right? I mean, Matt loved the, a lot of different music, and and you know, that, I mean, sure, this was uh, this was his like favorite song. Um, you know, um, I don't know if he technically had a, a favorite song. I mean, he went from Sublime and Reggae to Pennywise to Walking the Beach at Sunset and playing his saxophone. 
playing his saxophone. How it is, it, is that what Matt was doing <laughs> between the rallies, playing his saxophone? Yeah, he, he loved, he just got a vintage saxophone that was almost in mint condition. He was fixing it up. I was at his garage today, and it's sitting in the middle of his garage next to his Galaxy. Yeah, so just, he, just, he loved it. He just felt free, you know, when he was playing it. Just great times. I mean, we hear from rally competitors, he was, uh, you know, he would help out anybody. He was, you know, his heart was always out there for other rally competitors. Now he was, Matt was also a family man and, and you know, he loved his, loved his family and he was out there with them all the time. Uh, Kali, thank you for coming on. Uh, you know, I hope the whole family uh, is, is doing okay. And I, I, you know, all our, the whole Rally Notes crew and the whole Rally community, I'm sure, I'm sure you know that our thoughts and prayers are with you guys. And uh, if you need anything, just uh, pick up the phone and call any one of us. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that want to help. Yes, thank you very much, everybody. This is amazing. Thank you for coming on again. Thank you. Thanks. We're going to wrap up the show with uh, Matt's song, Pennywise, uh, Brown Him Tribute. Uh, I really want to thank you, everybody that really got involved with uh, uh, our show and, and uh, all the photographers that uh, let us use their pictures during the show and, and the videos that we were been uh, watching during the show. Um, I want to also uh, mention that you can um, uh, de de donate money uh, to uh, Magic Marker <laughs> kind of foundation, uh, Matt Marker's uh, foundation. Uh, you can find it, all the information on Facebook. There are bracelets uh, that have been being prepared that you can get um, on, uh, on Facebook. You can find more information about that on Facebook. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on uh, that you can find on Matt and um, on Subaru, uh, Subaru's rally team. Uh, let's just listen to the song and uh, let's wrap up the show for tonight. Good night. Why you are here, the fun was never ending Not a minute was only beginning 